Good afternoon. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday and having a rest. And uh, I'm going to be sharing with you daily meditations with the Holy Spirit for Sunday, February the 21st, 2021. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell, Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. A reading from 1 Corinthians 2, verse 15. A spiritual person discerns all things, and he is himself or herself subject to no one else's judgment. The reflection, if we live in the spirit, we will be able to see into the hearts of those around us. Of course, if we see that their hearts are broken because of life or even because of their own sins, we will experience compassion for them and their desire for healing. The prayer, Spirit of God, Help me to see myself and others as you see us. I'll, I think I'll comment a slightly on that, uh, but from my own experience, when people do seek the Lord or they seek something spiritual, in the days when it was no coronavirus and you weren't uh, to stay, told to stay home and there was only 17 at church today, which was sad. We used to have nearly 100 every week around that. Because we're a seaside town, Hunt Stanton is. I live in Newton, but um, they, we tra people travel in by car, but I have to go by bus. <laughs> One and out. Anyway, um, people would seek healing and prayer by going to a church or a prayer group. It, in all the denominations they have prayer groups but now you see people are not talking about God so you can't rush in there but you can pray silently if you think someone is broken hearted or they're hurting or even when they you know that they don't know God or want to know a neighbour was complaining about her pains her uh, arthritis pains and things and I knew I couldn't say to her I'll pray with you then Shall, would you like me to because it would have been inappropriate sadly but nevertheless I prayed for her silently and I'll continue to pray for people who don't outwardly want to know the Lord even when they're in pain so that's what we have to do. If we still feel compassion, we must pray for that person. Then and there, silently, you don't need to tell them you're praying for them, but it, it, it's, a, it's the right thing to do, and a godly thing to do, because I believe in the power of prayer. Oh, I have for many, 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 many years, and we have to keep doing what the Lord would like us to do in his holy name, if he's given those gifts. We have to use them, and wisely, and even listening to somebody is important. They might need just to get things off their chest and just talk, so you, you have to be a good listener. And that also is a, a good thing to do, listen to people who, but most of them rush by or get, I can tell you at least ten people in Hans Stanton, got on the road when I came walking along with no mask. I said, oh, you don't need to get off the pavement, it's all right. 
some responded and some didn't, but most did. But, you know, the fear that people had that you're going to contaminate them. And even in church, I won't name the person, but the person, when I came back from communion, moved out of my way. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I just thank you for listening. May God bless you and heal you. And I'm sending you God's peace in abundance and be happy and joyful in the Lord always. I'll be glad when we never ever hear about COVID-19 or any coronavirus or any virus of any kind. Just bring back the flu. <laughs> <laughs>